Hello, my name is Yes. Today I read the Bible. The Bible title is Moses So the Father of the Bush. Moses became 40 years old. Moses knew that he was an insert living in Egypt. One day he saw the Egyptian hit the Israelites. He was mad and killed the Egypt. The Egyptian Pharaoh the Egyptian Pharaoh tried to catch up Moses. Moses ran away. Time was passed. Moses got married and became shepherd. Moses was eighty old. Moses was sad he missed the people of Israel in Egypt. They were served of Egypt. Moses was taking care of sheep. <clears throat> he was sad because of the Israel in Egypt. Moses said to himself, My people are suffering all day because of the e- king of Egypt. Who can them? Who can help them? Moses was taking care of sheep one day. Something strange have happening then. A bush were on fire, but he was not burning. God spoke to Moses from the bush, Go back to Egypt, bring my people of Egypt. You will go into Canaan, as I promised to Abraham long time ago. <clears throat> Moses was afraid. He didn't want to do this job. He knew the Pharaoh would try to kill him. But God showed miracles to enrich Moses. God also let brother Aaron go with him. Aaron spoke well. Moses going to Egypt. Uh, Moses was going to bring God's people out of Egypt. Moses was going to do God's said. <clears throat> now I will read this chapter. The king says no. Exodus five twelve. Let's be, let's God's people go, say Moses. We want to leave Egypt to worship God. Please them, my people go now. <clears throat> no, say your parrow. God said you must let us go. Say Moses again. I don't care what you God said. Say the stone to parrow. Parrow made it easier work harder. The people of Israel couldn't have enough time to eat. God told Moses what to to do. Pharaoh will be mean to what you and people, but don't worry. They will soon know that I am Lord of Israel. Moses said, let God's people go many times, but the king The king didn't listen to God. No, said the king, your people are work for me. (laughs) Terrible things began happening in Egypt. Long, longest river in Egypt was changed to blood. Frogs were everywhere in Egypt. Dust became gathered and earth. Fears came all over. After nine travel this year, one last horrible thing happened. The the firstborn son each Egyptian family agreed the people of son death. Morning was a uh, here Egyptian in Egypt where at last, Pharaoh called to Moses and Aaron, Go, said king, take your people out of Egypt. 
the king was not strong any more. God showed them he is a greater than the king. The Israel now reread this chapter, twelfth chapter. The Israelites came out of from Egypt. God's people came to out to Egypt. The Israelites were out of Egypt with God's help. God bless Moses led to Israel. They know what God was with them. God stayed with them in the clouds. <clears throat> God was always with them. God told them where to go. Go show prayer of fire in every night. After those people of Israel left, Pharaoh changed his mind. He called to Israel his soldier. The Red Sea, the Red sea was front of the Israelites. They could cross the sea. They couldn't return to Egypt. Pharaoh and his army were following them. They were going to kill God's people. Moses said, Don't be afraid. God will save us. God said, Moses, raise your staff over the sea. The pillar of clouds stayed between the Israel and Pharaoh army. The pillar of cloud stayed between the Israel Parallel Army. When Moses raised his staff, there came to pass of one other side of the the Israel followed the path across the Red Sea. Parallels and his army were following them. When he it Israel crossed the sea, Moses will stop over the sea again. The sea swept Pharaoh's army. God was with his eyes. God's people were free. They, they were not serve of anymore. Moses and the Israelites sang to death joyfully. Praise God. Yes, today we read the Bible for fun, not fun. Yes, I fun. Yes, see you next time. Bye. Next time we read this story. Food from heaven. Yes. Bye.